Hey you, how's it going? I normally don't say how's it going right after I do my introduction, but we'll try something new, I guess. I hope you had a fun Barbenheimer weekend, even though uh, it is Thursday, July 27th when I am filming this video. But as promised, I am going to review the Barbie movie. I have seen it, I saw it on Tuesday. And I got notes, I got notes, I got notes. Also, I did take off my, um, I did take off my laptop cover because um, I kept fiddling with it and I broke it. So that's a problem, but that's okay because this kind of matches with the theme of pink. So a little backstory as to my experience with Barbie. I never really played a lot with the dolls growing up unless like I was at someone's house. Maybe I played with like Barbie knockoffs or something, like the knockoff dolls. The only doll that I actually had was the Hannah Montana doll from when I was like nine, 10 years old. I had a big Hannah Montana phase when I was in fourth, fifth grade. And I remember I got this particular doll because it came with a backstage pass and I literally thought, oh my God, this is how I'm gonna meet Hannah Montana. No. <laughs> I think if I were to date back even earlier, I um, I was interested in the, um, the Barbie princess movies like Swan Lake, The Nutcracker. I remember I was begging my mom to get the Swan Lake DVD and I did and I used to watch it like 50 times. Another early memory I had with Barbie was definitely the computer games. And this was like when the internet was on the up and up. You just, you had, you had to be there. You just had to be there. So when I learned that there was going to be a live action Barbie movie, I was kind of skeptical at first, not gonna lie because we see how Hollywood is with their live action versions of pop culture phenomenons or um, TV shows and movies that we enjoyed growing up. And yeah, I was definitely skeptical of the live action Barbie movie at first until they casted Margot Robbie. And then even better when I learned that Greta Gerwig is directing it. And yeah, I, I love Greta Gerwig. I love her movies. I love Little Women, Frances Ha. There's another one, Lady Bird. Greta Gerwig is such a fantastic storyteller. So I knew this movie was gonna be in good hands. Even after watching um, interviews where the cast would talk about her, it just makes me love her even more. And yeah, Greta Gerwig, she's just so cool. <laughs> So the way that I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna make two videos, one spoiler free and one full of spoilers. So this is the spoiler review. You have been warned. If you haven't seen it yet, then I would recommend you watch my spoiler free review. So heading into the first shot of the movie, <laughs> my immediate first thought was, you know that meme where like, I don't know, there's there's this baby and it's like, yeet, that one, I'll, I'll attach it on the screen. But um, yeah, that's immediately my thought. But yeah, right from the get go, like I knew I was in for a ride. I thought the set design and costume design is so unbelievably real. Like I never wanted to blue skidoo into a movie more. I even loved how when the clothes were being thrown, um, they were laid out in a way where you can see the whole outfit and um, the brief history of it before it went back to being crumpled up into a ball. Again, yeah, I thought that's some excellent presentation right there. I was really happy to see um, hijab Barbies and it wasn't, it wasn't just one hijab Barbie, it was two. One was the judge and the other was attending a political summit. So Barbie's morning routine sort of mirrors social media's expectations of a perfect morning where everything is supposed to go smoothly. I've never been a fan of influencers' morning routines because let's be honest, like who's up at 6 a.m. meditating, doing a workout and having a coffee? Not me because I am sleeping until 10 a.m. and that is on fun employment. <laughs> I don't care what anyone says, Ryan Gosling is the best Ken, like I don't even know where to begin. I think for this role, like he sort of method acted Ken, but not really method acted. Yeah, because I think we know how consequential method acting can be. But yeah, I just loved Ryan Gosling's attitude towards his character and just all the prep that he had surrounding it. And even when he's promoting it, like he's he's all about that Kennergy. <laughs> 
The way that he was in awe of learning about the patriarchy in the real world was so funny to me. It's like when a kid watches something on TV and is like, whoa, I want that. I love how later on he realizes his mistake and is like, yeah, I lost interest in the patriarchy when I found out it wasn't all about horses. Ken, I hate to break it to you, but girls like horses too. In fact, when I was 10 years old, I definitely had a horse phase. But yeah, that was, that to me was an example of the consequences of ignorance, fantasization, if that's even a word, and gender-based hierarchy. And one of my favorite Ken scenes was definitely the Ken off. First it was a battle sequence, and then a dance number, and then they hugged it all off. Like, it was, it was so amazing, and... When I saw it in the theater, like people were enjoying it. I even remember this one guy who was sitting behind me, like every time Ryan Gosling would talk, like he would just <laughs> crack up. He was just enjoying it. So I have some uh, thank you notes for some characters. Let me just try to set the mood right here. Thank you, Weird Barbie. It is noted that weird people are the most creative and have great ideas. This movie would be nothing without you. Thank you, Alan, for not being like the other guys. You are special. Thank you, Gloria. That monologue was what I and probably the masses needed to hear. I hope you get promoted to work inside the meeting room. No, but really quick though, I found it ironic how the CEO of Mattel didn't take Gloria's idea at first until an exec was the one who punched the numbers and let him know that, hey, it's it's actually profitable. So, the CEO of Mattel, what was it that inspired you to make Ordinary Barbie? Money! <laughs> anyway, back to it. Thank you, President Barbie. Because I love Issa Rae, and I love that she got to be herself without taking away from her character. I especially loved it when she was like, we got back our houses, and we deep cleaned it too. <laughs> okay, I, ne I need to be serious here. I need to get sentimental. Thank you the spirit of Ruth Handler, for reminding us that we mothers stand still so our daughters can look back and see how far they've come. Thank you, Dame Helen Mirren. Please narrate more movies. Thank you, Ryan Gosling. I'll be campaigning for your Oscar and Grammy noms. And last but not least, thank you, Greta Gerwig and Margot Robbie. This is the best movie of the summer. Okay, now that that's done, I have some more notes. So getting in deep with the gender roles and utopian society, we see what happens when we live in either patriarchal or matriarchal societies. It's not win-win. One should not have to live like second-class citizens with no identity outside of relationships or physical appearance, while someone with identities in society have more of the upper hand. I also liked how even the women had the chance to take a break because sometimes it's nice not to have decision fatigue or burnout, I also really appreciate how Barbie and Ken apologize to each other. So, that ending took a turn, didn't it? So Gerwig said that it was a, and I quote, mic drop kind of joke, and this was to encourage girls to feel confident in their bodies. Another way I looked at it was, it's not just about your body's appearance, but health as well. So whether or not you want kids, go see a gynecologist. Get that pap smear, get tested. I don't care what you do, that's your business. And then I will leave it with this takeaway. I was awestruck at how Barbie wanted to do the imagining instead of being the idea. Even though we don't really know what the future holds for her, I'm just happy that it's in her hands. I think there really is no ending for Barbie, not when she holds a legacy in the way that she does. But yeah, overall, my final rating of this movie, it can out of 10. No, that's not a mistake. I said it. Can out of 10. Like, I'm not gonna define this movie by a number. Are you kidding me? Whether you're a mom or a career person or both, I think you'd enjoy this. And whether you're a man or a woman or neither, I think you'd enjoy this too. The Barbie movie is definitely like one of those movies I would definitely categorize as a comfort movie. I would definitely watch this again as a pick me up. I got a mix of escapism along with some real world lessons. And maybe if my mom is down, I would love to watch this movie with her. I feel like this movie along with possibly Oppenheimer, I haven't seen Oppenheimer, so I, I don't know for sure. But those two movies is what cinema needs right now. It's people dressing up going to the movies, no sequels, no reboots, 
just something that's never been done before. There's just something memorable about bringing your friends and family to the movies. And it's not some dumb animated movie with adult jokes that's like trying to please the whole family. Yeah, because even Jerry Seinfeld said it himself, like there is no such thing as fun for the whole family. It's a fun for the whole family. This is the big tip off that it's fun for nobody. <laughs> Nothing in life is fun for the whole family. There are no massage parlors with ice cream and free jewelry. But I feel like the Barbie movie, in a way, can be fun for the whole family. Okay, well, not really, because going on to my next point, yeah, here's a PSA, do not bring your kids. This movie is for those who grew up on Barbie, plus to the moms, I think you'd appreciate it more without your kids' commentary and complaining. There was a screaming kid who got her iPad taken away for scrolling on TikTok because she got bored of the movie and was like, <laughs> And like this lady who was like sitting across the row was like, shush your kid. Look me in the eye and tell me that I should have kids. Please, please look me in the eye and say that. But yeah, other than that, I have no further notes. But yeah, there was a lot to unpack and I am so glad I split this review into two. I'm glad I finally did this. Honestly, waiting an entire year for this movie was absolutely worth it. Like from that first um, teaser picture of Margot Robbie where she's in her car. I, I just, I knew it was it was gonna be so great. And yeah, I didn't think I would go in too deep over a cute movie like that, but yeah, I mean, that's, <laughs> if you know me, you know I like to read into things. And yeah, I'm, I'm just glad that I got to do this review and finally get this off my chest. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this review. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have seen the Barbie movie, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. But yeah, I hope you have a great rest of your week and I will see you soon. Bye.